Hey YouTube, this is a Harbor Freight sandblasting cabinet bench top. Uh, sits on the bench top. And the problem is that the little pickup tube, little pickup tube would be this thing right here that goes down into the cabinet to pick up the very funnels down there. It's capped and the tube goes down in there. Well, what happens is, is that the um, when you're sandblasting, it all hangs up here and you have to keep hitting the cabinet in order for the sand to get down in to get the pickup tube or the abrasive medium. Well, I mounted a cheapy Harbor Freight orbital sander here. That's basically just a small box, like a pan, uh, made out of water heater steel that I bent in the bending brake and bolted it to the bottom and then a cheap drill master orbital sander is zip tied with heavy duty plumber zip ties to that bracket and I've got a pulse width modulator uh, router controller on this and here's what happens to the sand Obviously, with the router controller, uh, the pulse width modulate router controller, which was also acquired at Harbor Freight, uh, you can find the resonance that's perfect for your application for getting your sand down there. So, with that, I should be able to no longer have to keep hitting the side of the blasting cabinet to get the sand to go down, which will be very convenient. Um, we also, this is also water heater metal on the pan brake. There's um, the uh, vacuum vent for pulling the dust out is up here and then it cross vents it so that the, the intake for that vent hole is here and it keeps across because there's the factory one right here and it keeps the dust going this way and comes over here. So. We also did some more bending brake work with cheap, free, neighborhood available at the curb water heater metal. <laughs> Actually, the sandblaster will be, will be used quite a bit on water heater metal because you have to sandblast off the glass coating on the inside. Uh, it's very difficult to grind off. It just kind of wants to turn in. It, it's hard to get off with the grinder, but with the sandblast, it just... It crunches up into little itty bitty pits and adds to the abrasive medium. So there you go. Nice little vibrator for the sand. That should make sandblasting a little bit less pain in the butt because I don't have to hit the cabinet all the time. All right, out for now.